Hey guys, welcome to Restobin. My name is Kushal and in this video we are going to see how to install the Flaram community software on the Lems tab along with the WordPress. So I already written an article on this which we are going to cover in depth in this video. So things that we are going to see here is uh, the requirements of uh, Flaram. Or we will be adding a swap space, or we would be configuring the PHP modules, we would be creating the MySQL database and installing the composer on the Flarum as well as Flarum software as independent. We're also going to modify some of the file directories because we are going to install the Flarum on a subdirectory instead of subdomains. And later at the last, we are going to also configure the Nginx to support the Flarum. So these are all the steps that we're going to take care in this video. So let's head and start with the first thing, requirements of the Flarem installation. So Flarem can be installed on the LEM stack as well as LAMP stack. So I personally prefer the LEM stack because I prefer Nginx over Apache because it's speed, it's light and it's blazingly fast. So I always prefer Nginx instead of Apache. So some of the things that apart from Nginx we need is the PHP uh, latest version. We also need a MySQL. I personally use MySQL 8.0 which is the fastest among the all and even the PHP 7.3 which is the current latest version. Apart from that we also need an SSH and SFTP login so that we can make all the file changes in the configuration. So you can read about uh, how to install the LEM stack on as powerful server on this, this link here available. So moving on to the next, which is the adding the swap space. So if you are running on the RAM size, which is more than 2 GB, uh, uh, more 2 GB or more, then you don't need to add a swap space. You can just skip. If you are running less than that, that is 1 GB, then you need to have a swap space. So I currently have a $5 digital ocean, which gives me 1 GB RAM and 25 GB of hard disk space. So I need additional 1 GB or 2 GB uh, swap space so that I can use it as a virtual RAM. So let's get started with adding the swap space and then we would be configuring the Nginx and the Florum. So I have already my SSH and uh, we need SSH connection to add the swap space. So let me first check whether I have a swap space. If you have the swap space, then you don't need to worry about this. You can just ignore all these steps. If you don't have, then just go ahead with this adding this swap space. So let me allocate around 2 GB of swap space as a swap file and uh, add it to root and then change the permissions to only read and write. And finally make this swap space and turn it on. So once you are done, you can just check whether your swap is created or not. So here you can see I created the 2 GB of swap which was earlier 0 GB. So this is the temporary one uh, when we restart the, our system, our Ubuntu cloud server, then it will uh, delete the swap file. So to make it permanent, what we need to do is we need to add a we need to run this command so that it will add a line of code into etcfs tab. This is the rule that has been added into the etcfs tab file and uh, this will make the swap as a permanent. So now that we have added, we need to tweak the swap space so that it is not overutilized. Uh, it's said that if we use swap space uh, very frequently, it will degrade the server performance over the period of time. So there are two things that we're going to cover in this tweaking one is we will reduce the swap usage which is nothing but the swappiness to 10 percent and we are also going to decrease this cache pressure to somewhere around 50 percent so to do that uh, we just run this first command so the swappiness is set to 10 percent we also need to add one command line in this system configuration file so go to extreme bottom and then paste this command line and control X save yes so we have added the swappiness uh, we have set to 10% 0 to 10% so over that it won't use the virtual RAM second thing is uh, the reducing the cache pressure so we can run this command first so this will immediately reduce it to 50% and to make this change permanent even after restart we will just add it to the same system configuration file and uh, paste this command at extreme bottom after a swappiness file so control x save yes so we have added the swap file and uh, it's ready and it's running 
so the next thing is uh, we need to make sure that our required php modules are there so let me copy this first line paste and then the second which would be used for mysql so we have installed the php modules so moving on to next is to create the database table in mysql you can use the wordpress mysql database uh, for flarum but i wouldn't suggest i would suggest you to keep these two different since i have my uh, demo site it's not the production site i would be using the same database because i don't want to create another database so here i have mentioned all the steps that we need to take care to create the database uh, to make sure that uh, flarum is running on a different database so you can follow these steps if you are getting confused you can follow this link and uh, that will take you to the wordpress mysql which uh, which there is a video and you can refer that video if you want to look how to install or how to create the mysql database and this database we would be using while the time of installation so make sure that you keep these uh, details handy so next thing is installing the composer for flarum so one of the primary reason why we added the swap file because we need a ram and that ram is actually used to run the two programs at a, at once one is the composer and one is the flarum composer is nothing but the php dependency management tool and the flarums run over the composer so we need composer as well as flarum to run so let us run this first command so composer is downloaded now let us move the file to user bin folder this is done so next thing is we will install the flarum so before that we would be uh, creating the directory where we want to install the flarum and we will be changing our root folder to that directory so sudo make dir will create the directory and cd nothing but change directory will switch to that directory now let's run the flarum so copy this and paste so this will take some time Okay, it took around 2 minutes and the flarum is now installed. So let's go ahead and configure some of the directory. Since we are going to install the flarum in the subdirectory uh, of my WordPress installation, we need to make some changes in the configuration file. First, let's change the ownership of the folder and uh, modify the permissions. Now there are two things that we need to edit. First is the index.php file and second is the flarum file. Before that we need to move all the files that are there in the public folder to the root folder. So here you can see with this command we would be moving the files which are there under the public folder to the root folder. So let me just copy this. So you can move this uh, using your SFTP as well. So all the files are moved. Now let's go ahead and edit these files. So let me open my sftp navigate to the folder so where www demo forum the forum is the place where my flarum is installed so in this i need to edit two files one is the flarum and another is the index.php so here you can see index.php open that in this there are two things that we need to edit first is this line so let edit and make sure that it looks similar yes now second thing is this uh, three lines uh, which is nothing but these three lines so make sure that these two are looking similar so i would just remove these all extra things and finally the storage okay so now these two three lines are uh, looking exactly similar so let's close this and upload back to the sftp and uh, the second file so similarly we have to make sure that these two are reflecting the same so this required file is okay base file is also okay the public public rule is different so let's change it to default and then storage folder is also okay so just save this and upload it back to sftp so we have modified two files the flarum and the index file let's move on to configuring the nginx file so our current uh, so my current installation configuration file is available in the default file so let me navigate to this folder open the default file so in the default file what we need to do is we need to add these rules under the wordpress location so already there should be a location this is the locations and uh, after this this file is actually used for wordpress so what we're going to do is we are just going to add this 
the locations so once you are done just save and upload it back so let test if this configuration file that we made changes are working fine so it says the configuration is okay now let's restart our nginx server that's it we are done so let me change the directory to root and uh, finally we are in the process of installing the flarum on the browser so like i said i have been installing the flarum in my subdirectory so demo.restorebin.com is my WordPress installation and uh, the folder forum is where the Flatum is being installed. So let me copy this and paste. So install. So let me put some title, say restore bin demo for localhost. So database, I'm going to hide these all fields. So you can add some table prefix if you want or you can leave this bank. This is optional, but uh, I would be adding something and uh, the next thing is the admin username email id this you can put email id password so i have filled all the details here on the installation form i have used the mysql database uh, details here and here i have added my admin details the login name username and the password so click on install flatum so it says prefix shouldn't be longer than 10 characters okay let me just bring it down to something lower and install so it will take hardly a few seconds and then we should be redirected to our flatum home page so we have now navigated to the uh, flatum home page uh, where we can log in with using our credentials so let me just click on login so here you can see i have logged in so you can go to admin and you can perform all other tasks like you can manage you can uh, change the settings so let me just pull this so here you have all this type of settings like basics the email so here you can put the sender and the configure your email drivers uh, you can set the permissions, appearance, extensions, and tags. So all those things you can do in this Flatum forum software. So that's all in this video. I hope this helps. Thank you. Have a great day. Cheers, guys.